Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Mr. Ikefrof and today you're watching the vlog number two of the IQ community server. So get yourself a drink, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. On Monday, I decided that it was finally time to terraform the Mesa biome even more by removing all of the red sand in the white area around me. And in the end, I ended up with a lot and a lot of red sand to the point that I had to build a storage system outside because of the amount of red sand that my tiny temporary storage system couldn't handle. Anyways, I added in the little branch off of the main river as well and then came the time that I had to fill in this area with dirt and I decided to go with a slope here so I could build a treasure cave underneath it in the future as that is something that will add to the scenery of the area. And that's basically what I've done on Monday. But before we are going to continue with the other days of the devlog video, I want to tell you a little story that led up to a amazing build that we constructed this week. And let me tell you the story right now. So basically I need a villagers, right? And what does a normal person do when they want villagers? Well, they basically take two villagers, build a little villager breeder, get a few villagers and then call it a day. Now me, however, am totally different. I place down 150 bets, place down two villagers, give them enough food to feed the whole of China and make sure that all those 150 bets are filled to the rim with villagers and also I have to build it next to my base so that the whole server starts lagging whenever I load the chunks around it and basically that's that's what I did and therefore uh, we needed a place to store in all those villagers and basically that led up to some few ideas what can we construct to put in all my slaves for the rest of this season and I thought to myself a detention camp sounds quite good something modern I mean, all, all countries have them to put in their unwanted slaves, migrating immigrants. I mean, throw them all in, right? Who needs them? So that's what we are going to construct right now. Yeah, looking back at it right now, I don't think it's quite strange that a lot of people started complaining about the server lagging at all. No, it's to totally fine, I think. Alright, and then came finally the time that we started constructing this baby. So we first of all started off with adding in a beautiful very simple stone fence because we've got to keep our prisoners in and uh, we added in some foundations next to uh, the sides which weren't fully supported by the hill uh, as it looked more natural and uh, better looking that way uh, next to that we also added in a little watchtower and this watchtower wasn't really planned i thought i thought to myself why not add in a little watchtower it's something uh, to uh, prevent your slave from escaping and uh, the building that we are going to construct by the way hasn't been planned at all we're just freestyling the same with this watchtower and in the end it looks quite okay moving on we started laying down the foundation of the detention camp itself and the foundation is pretty much just a rectangle as we didn't want any squares or complex shapes in this building as it serves as a prison only. No, 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 I'm sorry, as a detention camp only. So uh, its sole purpose is to keep in our villagers and a, a box square or rectangle square will suffice. And there you go, we have our first layer in place. It's made out of very simple and wide, widely available resources such as uh, birch root. Uh, I got a button load of that as I built a uh, automated uh, tree farm and also I've got a lot a lot a heck ton lot of stone and uh, therefore this uh, build was just placing bl placing down blocks as I already had all the resources available and during this session I was getting help from Peter and uh, Lucas so I want to thank them both for helping with this amazing build uh, and as well as that, I added in a little front cover, also some side decorations to make to make it more uh, yeah, sinister looking and uh, something you do not want to uh, be in for a very long time. Then we had to adjust the fans as it otherwise would have touched the side decorations of the wall, which is not what we wanted. So uh, as you can see, uh, the side decorations are now clear from the fans, which is uh, what we want. And when all the side decorations were placed down, we moved on to the kitchen area, the canteen, 
uh, where everything was, uh, where all the villagers were going to eat, and I decided to add in some tables. Uh, the kitchen is going to be built somewhere in the future, and uh, finally we added in the third layer to the detention camp and this was going to be the final layer as it would have been too big otherwise. So the third layer didn't take a very long time at all as it's definitely reproducing the previous two layers. But uh, this layer is going to be a bit different as there's going to be a balcony there. So Peter on the other hand was rebuilding our first watchtower as he wanted to place something down there that looks more stunning. I, on the other hand, was working on the third floor, adding in the barred windows, and we are going to build our offices down here. Uh, Peter, I, and Lucas, as we are, of course, the owners of the camp. And Peter also decided to rebuild the roof of his watchtower, as he thought it didn't look quite right. So lastly, we finished the roof of the detention camp by adding in stone brick slabs all over it and also finishing the side decoration of the roof. Um, we then added in some workout areas for the prisoners to work out at and some little tents outside if the prisoner capacity is uh, overrun. And of course, we are going to add in our campamento de libertad signs to make sure that everyone know where they are and they shouldn't mess with us, the guards and the boss. And there you have it, the detention camp in all its glory with all the villagers inside of there and damn was it a pain in the ass to get all the villagers there. But hey, in the end it worked out and they all look nice with their own custom heads. Alright, so let's see how everyone's life is inside the detention camp. So here we've got a room with sleeping people. Oh, and there's Gerald go to sleep. Nothing much? No, canteen's empty also. Wait, do I hear music? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing music. Hmm, strange, where is it coming from? What? Are you guys from the party without me? How dare you? <laughs> So Sunday, the last day of the week, and I finally decided after moving all the villagers to the detention camp, why not create yet another village, but this time a lag-free village, a librarian village on this cool peninsula that I have here. No, it's an island, and this is going to be a librarian village, so I started off with adding in some love. Love trees, as we want to get some love to our librarian villagers, of course, and these love trees, yeah, just look at the shape of them. I, I, I haven't really, I didn't really know what, what types of trees I wanted to build, but hey, in the end, they look like love trees, and uh, with the housing in place, they will look a lot better. And looking at the final result, when you're low to the ground, I think that the love trees actually look quite good, especially with my amazing build in the background. And don't look at Lucas's build, it's ugly, very ugly, very ugly, of course. No, I, I'm just kidding, but when all the housing is going to be in place, it's, it's gonna look great. So then began the construction of the village and I added in a little wooden shed with a stone chimney on uh, on top of it with a campfire inside it to give it a very nice smoke effect. Then I added in a little bridge connecting the island to another island left to it. Now all the houses that I'm going to construct in the village haven't been made beforehand and that means that I'm freestyling every single house along the way. But I wanted to make sure that all the houses look alike. So I had a build palette laid out with all the building blocks for every house. But I wanted to make sure that every house looked unique and uh, therefore uh, I had to design every house a little bit different and especially the roof and also deciding to add in a chimney or not. And in the end I, I'm very happy with the end product. Uh, so each house is going to contain about one or two villagers, so that means that in total we should have around 20 villagers inside there, but um, I'm not too sure yet. We have to decide when decorating the houses how many beds and how many workstations can fit in each and every house. So I haven't explained yet why I am constructing this village. So the goal of this village is to get every enchanted book, maxed out of course, available through villagers. And this of course is a lot easier than enchanting every item manually and hoping that you get the right enchantments on them. 
So uh, next to that, I don't care at all how expensive the trades are going to be. So as long as we get all the ch enchantments available, then uh, I am fine with that as this makes it more challenging to us. Uh, so I will not convert every villager into a zombie and then back to a villager again to make their trades cheaper. That I think is a bit cheaty. So the last thing I did was add in the paths throughout the village and I used a mixture of coarse dirt, uh, path blocks and also some wooden slabs to uh, lay down the paths and I think that the end result looks quite good. I also added in all the lighting throughout the village to make sure that no mobs spawn on them and uh, in the end I think it looks quite great. So then I finally removed the god awful ugly villager breeder that I constructed and I think that it worked out great and seeing this mountain restored to its usual self looks a lot better than before. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week's devlog video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's devlog video of week 3. My name has been Mr. Ikecroft, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.